So insulin makes you fat. Oh, very much. Now, if you, so, so I, a moment ago, I said that the big fat cell is two variables. You must have both. You must have both a signal to tell the fat cell to get big, which is insulin. It is the, there's no other signal that can do it. You can, in a human, just simply take away the insulin, like type one diabetes. It doesn't matter any other hormone in the body. It does not matter. They cannot get fat. They could, again, they can eat thousand, they could eat uh, 10,000 calories of chocolate cake. They cannot get fat. Not only can they not get fat, they can't hold on to their fat. Because if there's no insulin to tell the fat cell to hold on to it or get big, it has to shrink. It's breaking down its fat. So the body goes into such a dramatic fat burning state in the absence of insulin that keeping fat becomes impossible. So the insulin signal is necessary to tell the fat cell what to do. But the fat cell will say, okay, insulin, you're high, you're telling me to grow, but what am I gonna grow with? That's where the calories come in. Now the fat cell will say, hey, fats and glucose in the blood, insulin has told me to get big and so I need to pull you in to help me grow. You're gonna give me the bulk. And if you have one without the other, it is death. So if I'm eating 2000 calories and I have a different insulin sensitivity to you, say we both eat 2000 calories, mm -hmm and I'm insulin resistant, doesn't that mean that I will? You'll store more as fat. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so your body, now it would partly depend on, there are people where you, you, if, you're, if all of your fat cells had reached its maximum point, then you're done. You're not gonna gain more fat. You're just sure. gonna become more and more and more insulin resistant. Okay, fine. So you kind of start limiting yourself. But there are studies in humans to show that if you give humans isocaloric meals, so the exact same number of calories, but they in the same amount of protein, but you differ those meals based on the amount of carbs to the amount of fat. So let's say two meals, exact same calories, 2000 calories, or that's in one meal, that's too high, a thousand calories in one meal. One version of this is the conventional way of eating, which is lower fat, higher carb. The other meal, same number of calories, but it's lower carb, higher fat. This lower carb, higher fat version will have a lower insulin response and they, they will store less fat from that meal. And, they're meta and someone would say, well, where do the calories go? You can't, it's, it's the laws of thermodynamics. You can't destroy energy. The metabolic rate will go up. So when insulin is low, if you have someone going a full day eating the same number of calories, but lower carb calories, their metabolic rate will be almost 300 calories higher in that day. And metabolic rate is the- Yeah, that's the total amount of energy that it just costs you and I to just live. Okay, so- We're just going through the day. But, so, that's, but that's a significant amount. Like to, if you and I were to go exercise and say, let's go burn 300 calories, we gotta be on the stair stepper for an hour or something. So it's 300 calories. But at the same time, if your insulin is low, you're burning so much fat that you start making ketones. And I, I don't intend to get onto that topic quite yet, but suffice it to say, every molecule of a ketone has a, has a caloric load roughly similar to glucose. And one of the, and, and what the body, when it starts making a lot of ketones, it starts eliminating the ketones. So every time someone is breathing out ketones, they're literally breathing out calories or they're urinating and they're urinating out ketones if they have higher ketones in their blood. They're urinating out calories because ketones have energy. And so this is the way that if insulin is low, it becomes impossible for the body to hold on to its energy. It is so determined to spend energy that it will both increase metabolic rate and it will make the energy, the calories be wasted in the breath and in the urine and, and in the form of ketones because ketones have calories. Ketones are energy. Now we're just dumping them out into the universe.